nothing vegetarian. And they couldn't even tell me if anything had gluten in it. I'm sensitive to gluten. I can smell it like a beach ball. It's not a hotel, princess. Well, let's go. Let's get the show on the road. Officer Jin Blanco. Jin, that's an unusual name. I'm glad to see you're anxious to begin the process. I'm just ready to get this over with, so everyone that needs to can go to jail. Jail? You said we weren't going to get in any trouble. No one's going to get in any trouble, trust but me. But she's with the police. That doesn't mean she knows what she's talking about. Small people like to talk big when they're scared. You don't seem to have a good grasp of small and scared. Let me show you. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Blanco, this is highly inappropriate. You're the people from the roof last night. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a huge fan. I have been since the apartment fire. What are you doing here? Group therapy, Mr. Wilkinson. May I tell you, Joe? Joe, you see, it's important to understand the group dynamic of the incident on the roof last night. Very true. Miss Schooner, may I call you in? Let's keep this professional. Counselor Schooner. Counselor? Oh, yes. You're a social worker. Worked at this very facility before I see. Yes. Welcome back. So if we could all take our seats, Counselor Schooner, if you would please take your seat with the others. Now, in today's session, we aren't going to be looking for anything fancy. I just want to give an idea of the chain of events that led each of you to the rooftop incident last night. Officer Jen Blanco. Jen, that's an unusual name. Why don't we start with you? Read my report. Officer Blanco. Jen, may I call you Jen? Officer Blanco. There is a process that needs to be satisfied here, and it will not be expedited by being belligerent. I wasn't being belligerent. If I were being belligerent, I would have said something like, lick my cunt. Ridiculous freak. See the difference. Actually, it would be best if we started with our costume character. I'd love to hear what Jeff has to say. Okay, I'll go first. Um, should I stand or do you feel most comfortable? My name is Joe Wilkinson, and I am a superhero. Well, I guess more a costume crime fighter, really, since I don't have any superpowers, uh, but the word superhero is more recognized. Also, it isn't just about crime. A superhero, I mean. You have to help wherever you can. Crime is actually the hardest part of it. Well, you can't just hang around bad neighborhoods waiting for something to happen, especially dressed like this. People call the police on me. Eventually, I, I got one of those police scanners like my dad used to have. He was a security guard, and he used to sit and listen to the scanner after dinner if there wasn't a game on, and he'd shake his head and mutter about how bad everything was getting. I think he wanted to be a policeman once, maybe a long time ago. Funny thing is, he hated the police and cops. Well, they can tell that sort of thing, so they... Oh, I don't mean they're all bad. Uh, just that um, they have authority over us, and, and some of them abuse it. And the ones that abuse it are the only ones we hear about. It's just like with politicians and movie stars and sports guys and everyone else we were told to look up to. I mean, why? Because they spoke well or could run fast? And then you hear about what they're in trouble for this week. And you know we're just hearing about the bad ones, but you can't help but think, well, maybe they're all like this. It's not about whether they're good or bad or whether it's fair to hold them so high up. It's that this is who we were told to hold up. This is who we were told to try to be like. When we were kids and said the word heroes, this was the best anybody could come up with. Maybe there never were any real heroes. But I was thinking, shouldn't there be? Shouldn't there be somebody that doesn't do it for a job, or demand we grovel to their authority, or expect grace? I call bullshit! Mr. Uh, Before you even ask, sweet cheeks, no one calls me James. It's just JC. I call bullshit, Joe. What do you mean? I mean, it's bullshit that you don't want attention. You dress like a goddamn neon sign. It's just the way they dress. You mean your fellow superheroes? Oh, really? Now you're just being antagonistic. Fine. Seriously. Why the bright threads if you don't want attention? I guess to call attention to the hero. I didn't mean there weren't heroes before, just that uh, we don't see them. We tend to focus on the bad parts of people. And if there was going to be a real hero, he needed to not have bad parts that people could find. Now, I guess I have bad parts. I just don't know what they are. But a superhero can just be good parts. And you know, the costume helps him get them. It's not me. Uh, then you do see a separation between you and what was your superhero identity? Oh, I never came up with one. I can help you come up with one. Knock it off. Joe, please elaborate on how your superhero persona is a different person than you. I didn't say that. But you uh, implied that he was better than you, no bad parts. Why don't you tell us? Why don't you shut up and stop pretending you're a psychiatrist? Amen. Excuse me, I'm a licensed therapeutic psychological counselor. Yeah, I know what that means. 
That means you quit before the hard stuff started. Honey, maybe we are. No, I don't think you get to talk. You've been cuddling up to this fruit loop all day long. Sit down. What happened to that amen I just got? You know, you really should pick a side. Maybe I'll start with your left side when all those bricks are broken. Oh, both of you just stop it! I can't take all this negativity. Well, maybe you should get it through your heads. She's not a doctor. You're not a cop. Not in here. As a matter of fact, after that dirty Harry shit you pulled last night, I bet you're not a cop anywhere anymore. Officer Blanco, I feel it is best for you career-wise to sit down and let JC take his turn. So, JC, why don't we continue with you then? Sure. I'll go next. You see, for me, it all started with her. I was new in town. I transferred into this middle management gig. It was the right move for my career, but all work and no play. And the first thing I noticed about her were her eyes. Now, I know normally eyes is guy code for tits, but in this case, it really was her eyes. You see, there's a brightness. I've lived most of my life according to plan. My plan. Finding out what you want and getting it, that's what it's all about. In work, life, love, I've had every girl I ever wanted. It's really not that hard once you learn a few tricks. And the first trick is keep it simple. Keep it friendly. If she wants more than friendly, you just pass her on to the next guy. But stay friendly. There's no need for hard feelings. And then I met Stephanie. Fran's birthday party in the second floor break room. You were going on and on about some movie you've just seen? Vanilla Sky. I tried to hold it together, but finally I just said it. I hate Tom Cruise. I know. So do I, really. But we're all supposed to treat him like some important actor now. I admit it. You do anything for 20 years, you're bound to get a little bit better at it. Yeah, and you have to just forget that he was this awful teen movie. Star. I know, and all that. I am a Scientologist. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did I just blow this by insulting your religion? I've been told I have some weird ideas about religion, but when based on a bad self-help book, no. You know, I've been told I have a rather unique take on religion myself, but I tell you what, let's not talk about religion until the third date. Third date? Does this count as a first date to you? Oh, no, no, this is me asking you out on our first date. Come on, we have to make it to date number three so we can talk about our weird ideas about religion. So she said yes, and we went out more than three times. There was something about her that I'd never seen before, never had before. And oh god, the sex! Yes, definitely. Oh god, the sex. You think she has weird ideas about religion? No, that's weird. Just creative. Really, how would you categorize her sex life? Counselor, that is hardly appropriate. And Jesse, I think you straight from the point of it. Oh no, not at all. This is the point. Me and Stephanie, I come to a crossroads. There was the life I'd planned, and there was her. Brand new and exciting. You know, I didn't think there was anything new left in the world. It was the biggest decision I ever had to make. So, I made the sacrifices, and I asked Satan, what do I do? What? 